Oh, pfft. Ow. Okay, that works. Did, I just made the wipers work. Which, yeah, I realize I should have the car off right now. There we go. Yeah, I should have done that first. I'm not very smart. I got it off. I don't know if you can see. That right there is melted plastic. And the connector, yeah. That's, that's a melted connector. That's uh, kind of concerning. Hmm. See what happens. See if I get lucky or not. So, the hazard lights came on. Let's get start. Thank you. 
Oops. Everything works except the high beams, which I don't really use anyway, so I think that's okay. Just gonna put this back together. Success. If I had a limited slip differential in this, I wouldn't be able to do this by jacking up one wheel off the ground and just turning one tire to move the drive shaft. Open diff superiority. Okay, that's all four. So let's see if I can get this off without destroying the whole world. socket that fits on this. Alright, 27 it is. Nice. Alright, I 
had to lower the van on the ground, so I've even less room to do this. And it's just moving the whole van. That's not what I want. Okay. Okay, let's try again. I don't expect this to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. Wow. I need to have more faith in my little impact. Wow, that was great. Nice. Sure hope this fits on here. This is pretty small. Uh, yeah, I'm not don't really have much faith in this thing. It is pretty small. And it is a little crooked. It's bent. I'm gonna try anyway. Let's see what happens. Yeah, look at that thing bending. Ugh. It's not on there straight. That's not a good sign. Oh. Hmm. Oh, that looks better. Looks much better. Nice and straight. Peanut butter blaster. Where's it going? Where's it going? It's turning. Ugh. Hmm. Had a good look at this once. Let's see if I can. Do it again. Diff oil looks surprisingly clean. Nice. Ah, no. No. Oh, crap. Okay, I sure hope that was in focus. Man, the guide I looked up said that some oil would leak. This one hasn't stopped leaking since I took the the flange off. And stop whenever you feel like it. You have to be gushing. Man, if you haven't smelled gear oil, it is something. It's such a unique smell. Oh 
old baby. Gear oil stinks. Yeah, that was wrong. Okay. gears right there and lots of oil leaked out yep no surprise all that metal shavings on the back of the magnet which is this is all normal if there was a huge chunk on there then I'd be worried but this is just a fine powder this is all normal all right drink up Okay, drink up part two. I sure hope I have enough. I don't have a pump, so I'm just squeezing the bottle. That's, that's just the one I spilled. When you're filling a, a differential, you go by when you know there's enough when it starts leaking out of the fill hole. But uh, I spilled that one on the outside, so that doesn't count. Man, did I really lose that much? Jeez. <laughs> so this thing must have been leaking for quite some time. Oh, don't be so obscene. Grow up. Okay, fine. So I'll just have to go buy some more. I thought one quart would be enough. I guess it was more emptier than I thought. Okay, never mind. I guess it was full. As soon as I stick my, my finger in there, it dips right in. So, looks like I have enough. Yes. I didn't want to have to go buy more. Yeah, usually if if the fan only works in high, the blower motor resistor is bad. Holy crap. No wonder this thing didn't work. You don't get to see the glorious excavation of the old blower motor resistor because it is so rusted I couldn't get it off. And I have a bigger problem. The old um, connector is still rusted. The old resistor is still stuck in the connector. If I can't get these out, I can't get the new one in. Looks like I'm defeated for now. I'm just going to have to cut that connector off and get a new one 
and replace it because I've tried to get those rusty rusty little whatever you call these things out of the connector and they are just fused together there's no sense wasting any more time on it it would be easier to just buy a new connector and crimp on some new connectors for the the terminals on the resistor I'm not gonna waste any more time on it it's kind of a bummer that I get one step ahead and then one step back this is why you don't buy rusty things friends don't let friends buy rusty project cars you guys should have talked me out of this this is this is all your fault it's not mine obviously no I'm just kidding I'm thankful for everyone who's watched my videos and I'm thankful for you if you've made it through this very long video the next video is gonna be a bit since I have to order parts again I gotta allocate the money for it so thanks for watching and Stay tuned for the next one.